Hey everybody, it's Luke with SixPatchSmackdown.com. Uh, well today we have a pre-workout supplement. I'm just getting ready to work out for the day and we're going to try some EXT Go watermelon flavor. I got this again out of my December Jack Pack. I'm anxious to try it. It says right on the front of the package, watermelon flavor performance pre-training powder. Workout, energy, pump, muscle strength, definition, vascularity, and focus. Feel the buzz. We'll see. So if we look at the supplement facts, this does have some creatine in it. Looks like we have, uh, it's hard to tell exactly because they have a proprietary blend. A lot of times, a lot of companies are moving away from proprietary blends so you know exactly what's in your product, so you know how much caffeine, how much creatine, how much beta alanine. But we just have a proprietary blend of 3,635 milligrams of creatine, that's creatine monohydrate, glycine, beta alanine, L taurine, caffeine, um, L citrulline, and then some, looks like it's some natural ingredients. So I have some glutamine in there. You know, but since it's only 3.6 grams total of all of that stuff, I'm guessing the creatine's one to one and a half grams, the glutamine maybe a gram. But again, when they use a proprietary blend, it's hard to tell exactly um, the amount of everything that you're getting. So, um, yeah, let's mix this up, give it a test. We'll test the taste and mixability first, and then I'll come report back after my workout and uh, let you know what I thought of it and how it compared to other supplements I've taken. Okay, looks like it was a nice fine white powder. It says make six to eight ounces of water. I've got eight. Hardly any froth. That's good. Um, I don't like the froth. Maybe it doesn't bother you guys, but I'm not a fan of when I get five inches of froth on the top of my shaker cup. So mixability, a couple small pieces of white. And again, I, I'm guessing that's from the creatine. Let's give it another couple shakes here. See if they go away. And not quite as many. So maybe give it a good 30 seconds and we can get all the chunks gone. But let's taste, taste test it. Hmm. That tastes like watermelon candy. So it's not like a uh, Gaspari uh, Amino Last watermelon or a C4 watermelon or even Amino X watermelon um, from BSN if you've tried those. This is much sweeter. Extremely sweet. Wow. And there's only how many calories in here? Like six. Six calories. So something in here is no sugar. So they're using something to sweeten this and it's really sweet. Um, I'm almost... I don't know, a little too sweet for me. It's not my favorite watermelon taste ever, but you know, it's not horrible like you know, rip cuts or D stunner. This is actually drinkable. I wouldn't not buy it because of the taste so far. So I'm gonna finish this off. I'll work out, I'll come back, I'll let you know how it performed during my workout, and we'll make a recommendation. So stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back. I uh, just got done working out. Um, worked out in the house today. Again, I uh, did a little P90X, and I took the EXT Go pre-workout, and I got to tell you, I was actually pleasantly surprised with this stuff. Um, I actually had a pretty decent pump and great energy. Um, surprised me. <laughs> I was kind of expecting it to just kind of be a flavored caffeinated drink that really didn't do much but give me kind of caffeine jitters, but it actually worked, and it was pretty good, so... Um, I don't even know where you can buy this stuff. I'll try to look it up and put it on the blog post. But if you can get your hands on a sample of this or a trial size, um, I think it was pretty good. Again, it's got the creatine, it's got citrulline, uh, beta alanine, taurine, uh, and a little bit of glutamine. Um, you know, only six calories, and the taste was a little sweet, but not horrible, not where I wouldn't buy it. So, EXTs go. Um, not a bad supplement. Um, yeah. Till next time, guys.